Well, hello there, my lovely Virgos. What is up? It's your girl Raven, aka Rainbow Bright. How are you guys doing this wonderful afternoon? It's beautiful where I am. I hope it is where you are too, okay? If not, you know, sometimes we have stormy days, you feel me? All right, so check it. This reading is for the sign of Virgo. You may not even be a Virgo. You could just have someone in your chart and therefore the energy could still resonate for you. I just ask that you take what resonates and you leave what does not, okay, my lovely Virgos? All right, to my uh, new and my returning subscribers, what's up? Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for returning, okay? Um, all right, so I don't know what today's reading is going to be about, Virgo. I'm just going to flip out these index cards and see what happens. I want to thank you guys for all the love and support you've been showing the channel. Please continue to thumbs up the videos for me. God bless every single one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Okay, so Virgo. Okay, that's a big stack here, but at the top it says they started a witch hunt. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, Virgo. All right, Holy Spirit, please tune me into the collective frequency of Virgo. What is going on for Virgo? Okay, Virgo, justice is about to be served. Booyah, there you go. You might have been waiting on that. I heard someone saying, about time. <laughs> what else? This got something to do with a hookah lounge. This got something to do with a karmic situation. And your angels and ancestors are definitely protecting you through this, okay? Anything else? Oh. Spirit wants you to know that there is more to be revealed about this situation. This can have something to do with a stolen car or car tags. Someone fantasizes about kissing you very often, and you could be dealing with an earth, another earth sign energy, like a Taurus or a Capricorn or something like that, or something tangible. Hmm. Someone here may have a job as a cleaner or a hitman too, hitman energy. Or someone may have been looking for one. Okay, so there may have been a karmic situation. I mean, not may, but there may have been. A, I mean, there's a karmic situation that may have gone down in a hookah lounge, or something to do with a hookah lounge. Put that with that. Your spirit and ancestors are protecting you. It's more to be revealed about this situation. I'm put these cards over here. Let's see if I can get one more. What else with Virgo? Oh. That's with Virgo. All right, there we go. Someone here could be facing misdemeanor charges. Justice is about to be served. Justice is about to be served. Virgo, someone here could be going to court. They could be going to court for doing something they had no business doing. This could also be spiritual court because your angels and ancestors got involved and they're protecting you. So we're here could have tried to steal from you or something. Okay, Virgo, let's see what it is, okay? Okay, Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the collective frequency of Virgo. Can you please clarify for me what is justice about to be served? Okay, well, you were dealing with an enemy or a distrustful energy here. We got third wheel, enemy, distrust, flirtatiousness. And this definitely was an investigation. There's going to be evidence. There's proof coming out. Okay. Somebody here could have been trying to cause disturbances to you and a soulmate. I have um, eternal love, the soulmate card here, and then I have disturbance. And then peeking out, I have curse. So someone here was definitely doing something they shouldn't have been doing, okay? What else for justice is about to be served for Virgo? Yeah, you may not have been you may not have known this, but maybe somebody was um messing with your coins and <laughs> we got blind in savings. Or <laughs> this is gonna sound I mean, this sounds funny to me, please forgive me, okay? So yeah, it resonates. Or, you know, with somebody uh, Someone was saving up for a spiritual ass whooping. I'm kind of hearing that in my head. Like somebody was unknowingly walking into, like this was something that was owed to them. I'm kind of feeling this. <laughs> like somebody, what else, what else is justice about to be served? 
Okay, gain. Okay, let's see what they had to gain. Somebody had something to gain. What's the gain? Okay, um, ominousness. What's the gain in ominousness? Someone here was cultivating something that was insidious. Trying to trap or restrict your treasure here. And I say that because we got confinement here. And then behind that, we got nightmare, suffering, darkness, persecution. Some, there's something there. Justice is about to be served for this third wheel or third party ener uh, energy here, which could be an enemy or someone just that you, that you can't trust, that you found proof. You found proof that you can't trust somebody, okay? And you may have found some sort of insidious sign or something like that that showed you that they were trying to gain something off of you. Yeah, maybe through support or care. Maybe this is someone you gave a lot of support to. What's the care? Yeah, maybe this is somebody who was weak um, or someone who's sick. Okay, what's the care and illness? Someone maybe wanted to stretch you out. <coughs> Someone, um, oh, okay, I see what happened. Somebody that you care for, they're sick because they were doing so much cursing, hexing, hating on you, causing catastrophe, misfortune here with this curse card. And then we got overload here, excess, obligation, overwhelm. Justice is about to be served because they were just working overtime to stress you out or to just bring you misfortune or something like that. You might invent, you might have been enlightened to what the disturbances they were causing you here. We got blessing, natural disaster, injustice. You might have been enlightened to the trouble they were causing in your life, and you might have called judgment on the situation. And justice is here. Justice is about to be served. It most definitely is. Let me move on. What is this karmic situation with the hookah lounge? Okay, real estate, wealth, investment, mega project. So this could be a project or investment endeavor or something like that. Maybe someone here want to invest into a bar or a lounge or something. Or um, what's the real estate? Also, I'm going to call out some numbers here. These could be angel numbers or numerology. A lot of times I call out phone numbers, the last four of social, birthdays, all that. So just, you know, take it how it resonates. I have 3755-2582-335-3555. What's the real estate? Someone here could have been um, trying to encourage you to collaborate with somebody. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. We have good news, which is encouragement, miracle, surprise, and collaboration, backup, unity, enhancement. Maybe somebody here was trying to convince you to invest into like some sort of project or some sort of endeavor or something like that. What else? Okay, that's a lot. Okay, what else? Relaxation, peace, tranquility, easiness. Maybe somebody was trying to convince you that by investing into something that it would you would be at peace, that you would be able to rest easy. What's the collaboration? They were um, sweetheart, pure, unconditional love of beloved. Collaboration can also mean learning something. So this could be a situation where um, you're going to hear surprising news about something or someone you were investing into. Somebody that you, you know, someone you're learning that someone is a sweetheart, that they're pure or something like that. What else? Or someone's learning that you're pure of heart. Rights in reverse. Someone may have tried to hex or curse you and it failed. Um, or perform a rite or something. Or maybe someone sees you as mysterious. You're misunderstood a lot. Right. Ceremony, mystery, magic. What's the right? You're going to... Um, justice again. I'm going to leave this in this deck too. Justice is here. Okay. Someone here... What happened here is that there was a group of people here 
that um they they work together it's like a i kind of sense like a love scheme or something like that or someone was i don't know something's weird here but it's like a group of people here who were trying to learn about you like they were collaborating to learn something about you and your unconditional love or something like that and maybe they were performing rights on you to try to learn. Maybe someone was trying to get into your Akashic Records or something to see what type of good news and all that, you know, jazz that you have coming in. <clears throat> That's crazy, Virgo. Okay, let's move on here. Don't worry, I'll get into some tarot, okay? What's the, um, your angels and ancestors are protecting you for Virgo? Bully. Embarrassment. Gossip. Unwillingness. Your angels and ancestors are protecting you from being bullied. You know, anyone that's gossiping about you or spreading the evil eye, you know, they're protecting you against that. What's the bully? This could be a group of friends. Yeah, look at this bullshit right here. Indulgence. This is a group of friends that's sitting around talking about you, you know, probably talking about how they can take from you with robbery here. Or someone's, you know, this is, your angels are protecting you from energies out there that are coming together. It's like a mean girls club, you know, whatever the fuck it's called. You know, I didn't even watch that movie, but I heard the premise of it. But I'm just saying that. You know, it's like a group of people coming together just to attack you. Your angels are protecting you from that. They're protecting you from being embarrassed, from people gossiping about you, from trying to bully you. They're protecting you from being stolen from, from you being treated unfairly, from you being exploited. And they're protecting you, you know, in your, in your in whoever you're connecting with, too. Like, whoever you're connected to, they're, like, protecting you against their energy. Yeah, this could be somebody here who wants to damage you by making you lose. And they could be offering a fake promise or something. We got inducement here with persuasion, bribe, or temptation, and then compromise, agreement, reconciliation, or consideration. You see how they're fighting in this card and like someone's standing between them? Your angels and ancestors are protecting you from an energy here who wants to come in and offer you something in the form of, oh, I want to compromise with you. I want to reconciliate our differences, you know, reconcile our differences. <clears throat> they're just looking to cause damage. You're being heavily protected from that. <clears throat> excuse me sorry okay holy spirit what is there is more to be revealed about this situation for virgo okay somebody did something and they were gluttonous <laughs> uh they did something exceedingly because they were greedy so you're about to find out more about a situation where someone's being greedy let me get some more numbers out um four two four five One eight one one five two three three one one three three. What's gluttony? Okay, accidents in the reverse, and then we got mask at the bottom. Okay, accident is injury, caution, danger. So somebody here, there's more to be revealed about a situation where somebody was exceedingly doing something, or that someone was being greedy, and they hurt themselves by lying. Someone here could have kept lying or being deceptive or wearing a mask or something like that. So you're about to hear more about this. Inf you're about to get more information about the situation around somebody here who is just craving danger. You know, how they're wearing masks, how they're deceptive. Or someone here who just excessively causes a lot of accident and injuries by being deceptive. What's the mask about? Loneliness, disappointment, isolation. What's the loneliness? So this could be someone here who's disappointed in themselves, who wears a mask to pretend like they're not. Let me put these back. What's the loneliness? Commitment, binding, obstruction, contract, and then soulmate, eternal love. Yeah, there's more that's going to be found out about the situation you're in involving somebody who was doing something out, out of greed excessively and end up hurting themselves. And basically by wearing a mask, they've isolated themselves from the world or whatever, or from love. Okay, let me get into what the misdemeanor charges are. What's the misdemeanor charges? That stolen car tag card came out, so this got something to do with a car still. Uh, self-love, self-concern, self-healing, independence. Hmm. What's the, and fury? Somebody could be mad. Somebody could be receiving misdemeanor charges. They're mad that they couldn't block you. What's the self-love? You're getting 
or hold on marriage sweet love couple dependency what else let me keep going for a second Someone here wants to <coughs> reconciliate with you. <clears throat> Somebody here that someone here is receiving misdemeanor charges. Now, as you know, well, you may not know, you have to get on Google, but misdemeanor charges aren't, I mean, they're they're charges still on the 3D where you can go to jail or pay fines, but they're not as serious as like federal charges or criminal charges, you know, like that. So this could speak to the energy of someone here who's done something. Maybe not something too bad, but just a little bit bad. I mean, take out resonates here. But this is somebody here who wants to marry you. Or somebody you're married to. Someone that's independent. They want to reunite with you. They want to overcome some sort of challenge that's been going on and plant new seeds. They've been planning, trying to strategize it. Maybe this is somebody that, I don't know, they got caught up in something here. And maybe it was just an honest mistake. And now they want to come forth and they want to be with you again or something. Okay, let me get into some tarot. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me see what this earth sign energy is. What's this earth sign energy? Okay, you may hear something about them on the news. Protests, inadequacy, to attention. Or somebody here uh, wants to apologize or something like that. Or confess something that they've done. What else? Someone here could be getting sued and they want to apologize. To bring stability, to make things okay. That's their goal. So an earth sign energy, this could be you or someone else. They want to come towards you and they want to apologize. You know, they want to confess something to you. They want to bring harmony acceptance into a situation. What's the stolen car or car tags about? Okay. Goodness, humans, good morals. So you may have good morals or someone here with good morals may have had their car stolen. Yeah, damn. Reservation, desire, worth, extravagance. Look, it's a car on this card. So this could be you, this could be you or someone you know that's a really good person. They could be a spiritualist, a, a like a mentor or something like that. You know, um, somebody who has a lot of extravagance. Someone here may have a really really nice car. And um, what else with the stolen car or car tags? Yeah, somebody's car probably got stolen, and it was stolen so that disaster can be created in the form of stress for your money. So maybe someone stole your car or was seeking to steal your car so you can go to work and make money and pay your bills so you would be stressed out. What else? This is my, mm, excuse my language, Virgo, but mm, crazy, dude. I'm glad justice is being served for y'all. I'm happy to see it. I'm a Libra, and justice card is us. We're all about balancing the scales, and I'm telling you, like, that just, mm, it makes me so mad. Okay, you can be very talented here. We got the profession card. Um, ooh. well, that one try to get away. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. Okay, we got I fantasize about kissing you very often. Let me see who fantasizes about kissing you. What's that about? Oh, someone has sweet dreams. They fantasize about kissing you. That's like they probably just like late. They probably just like sit there and they're just like. Oh. You know, like, <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> someone that you chill with, that you relax with, someone that you probably kick back with or whatever that you have. Someone here, this is someone here that's tranquil, that brings easiness and peace into your life, okay? Or you bring it into theirs, you know? y'all. Or it's probably mutual. Y'all probably feel the same way about each other. Yeah. Someone is fantasizing. Like, someone's in their head being optimistic, like daydreaming about, oh, what would the first kiss be like? <laughs> I mean, I hate to sound like a little schoolgirl, but really, for us, what it's like, okay? All right, let me get into some tarot. All right, Virgo. Please hit the thumbs up for your girl if it's resonating so far, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the frequency of Virgo. 
Can you please clarify for me what's going on in this justice situation? What is the justice? What's the justice about? What's justice about? Hmm. Well, that's one way to get out, huh? <laughs> well, justice is about to be served. King of Swords. That's like a judge, like someone who's um, you know, like making judgment on something, um, making decisions. Like, yeah, this is truth, mental clarity. Like somebody has gotten mental clarity about something. They 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 know they have to be honest with themselves and make a real serious balanced decision. And when the King of Swords rules, he rules, and that's it. He don't change his mind after he make his ruling. So this is definitely a judge here. What's the King of Swords? Okay, that's a lot here. What's the King of Swords? Aquarius energy, by the way. So this could be you making a, a judgment on, on a situation because you're tired of things and you want things to move forward here. And the reason why I say that is because we have the Eight of Wands here, which talks about things moving forward or um, quick movement, travel, things manifesting quickly. And then we have the Chariot here poking out. Cancer energy, which talks about moving forward. Page of Wands can be your inspiration. <clears throat> What's this King of Swords and the Eight of Wands? Ten of Cups. So things are picking up quickly. Justice is about to be served in the form of you getting your Ten of Cups happiness, okay? You've been waiting patiently. You've probably been going through a lot of shit. And things are manifesting quickly. Judgment's been called. And, you know, justice is being do doled out equally. What else? King of Cups, you've been a good person. You've been, I don't want to say a good boy because you can be a good person, a good girl too. What I'm saying though is with the King of Cups here, this is someone who is emotionally balanced. He has very deep feelings, but he doesn't too much display them, but he is very emotionally balanced no matter what chaos is going on around him. You know, um, Scorpio energy, you could be dealing with Scorpio. And then we got the Chariot here, which talks about can you know, the Cancer energy and things moving forward. A lot of water sign energy here with the Cups here too. So a lot to do with emotions and moving forward, you know. Somebody here, their Ten of Cups is definitely moving forward. They're ready. Someone here has made a clear-cut decision on what it is they want and how to manifest their Ten of Cups. And now they are making, uh, I mean, they are like their eyes are on the prize and they are going. Look, Six of Wands, victory. Like they, this is going to be publicly known, okay. What else? Okay, somebody here could be worried about that. Maybe because of a fight that happened in the past with the Five of Swords in reverse. What's this Five of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Swords? This has something to do with love with the Ace of Cups here. What's this uh, Nine of Swords, uh, Five of Swords reverse? Okay, there could be some surprising news here with the Page of Wands or some sort of exciting news. What's the Page of Wands? Mm, I saw that as it flipped out. I already knew <laughs> Three of Swords and the Six of Cups. This is definitely an ex that's heartbroken. So somebody here has a past resentment about having conflict or something here. They're receiving, this is an ex or something like that you've broken up with. They're receiving news about you moving forward and into your happiness and they're sad. You may have kids with this person, but somebody here is thinking about the past when it comes to you and they're, and they're just really feeling bad about something here. What's the Five of Swords in reverse? What was that fight about? A lot of conflict here. Five of Wands, differing, differing opinions, competition. And then we got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody can't focus. Virgo energy. Lovers in reverse. Gemini energy. A broken relationship. A, a disunion. Or just something that's just not balanced here. You had to make a clear-headed decision to set boundaries and do what was right for your best happiness, the Nine of Cups. Libra energy. What's this karmic situation about? The Magician in Reverse talks about manipulation and narcissism. So this karmic situation involves being manipulated. What's the Magician Reverse? The Fool. So someone here could have been manipulated into doing something foolish or something like that. What's the Fool and the Magician Reverse? 
or this could have something to do with somebody's um, beginning. Like maybe somebody has a new beginning and someone was trying to manipulate it somehow. Okay, Hierophant in Reverse can talk about divorce, Taurus energy, or uh, breaking convention, you know, conventional beliefs, you know, like, you know, being more spiritual than religious and like standing up for those beliefs, that type thing. Then we got the Nine of Wands here, which talks about setting boundaries or someone being overwhelmed on, on edge, battle-worn. So this tells me that this is a situation surrounding somebody here who try to manipulate. A, in other words, it's like somebody here is afraid of change. Someone knows that the only way to move forward is to maybe seek a divorce or separate themselves from like a traditional belief system or something and set boundaries. What else? Oh, shoot. Death reverse. Somebody doesn't want to follow that principle. This could be a change of some sort with the death reverse. Someone's trying to resist that change or this could talk about a personal transformation. Scorpio energy. What's a death reverse? <clears throat> Page of swords. Oh, goodness. Page of swords in reverse and then the temperance in reverse. Sagittarius energy. Somebody here is resisting change. They're all talk. They may talk about it all the time, but they but they don't really see things through. Um, with the temperance in reverse, I could talk about being impatient, things being unbalanced, pushing somebody that's pushing themselves and others to extremes, trying to get trying to get a resolution they want. So you was dealing with an energy here, Virgo. That just absolutely refute was just resistant to change, just resisting change. This is somebody who's just way out of balance. What else about this karmic situation? Hold on, actually, matter of fact, what is there is more to be revealed about this situation? What is this about? Okay, we got the Nine of Pentacles, which talks about enjoying the fruits of your labor, being idolized. What's the Nine of Pentacles? So this could be you or someone else. Two of Pentacles in the reverse, which could talk about being juggled. What's the Two of Pentacles in reverse? Or being irresponsible about something. Strength. Leo energy. This could be a Leo that was juggling you or... Um, that was treating somebody unfairly or you may have felt like you were being treated unfairly or something like that. Like, in other words, you may have felt like you was on the back burner when it came to somebody. Or someone here is trying to be strong. They're trying their best to be strong through this challenging situation here and come out on top. What else? Wheel of Fortune's in reverse. Yeah, bad karma, bad, you know, cycles aren't turning, four cups, missed opportunity. What's the Wheel of Fortune reverse? The High Priestess reverse. Someone's doubting their intuition or blocked intuition or someone's um, got a, a hidden agenda. So maybe you're going to find out that someone here um, has a hidden agenda that's bringing on some bad luck or just keeping you stuck or something like that. It looks like someone here is trying to control you or dominate your power or something. What's this high priestess reverse? Someone has a hidden agenda. <coughs> Excuse me. There goes my throat chakra. They don't want me to tell you. Virgo. Someone here could have, an, uh, could have a hidden agenda to control you somehow. Yeah, they're greedy. King of Pentacles in reverse. Greed. Self-centered. Um... Only focused on material wealth and appearances. But justice is here. I mean, we've said that several times now. Libra energy. What's this King of Pentacles in reverse? That's Taurus energy, I believe. The world reverse. Someone here who um, 
is trying to spin a block or someone here who keeps repeating cycles, not learning the lessons, somebody in your home, 10 of Pentacles in reverse. So this could be a broken home dynamic or um, like bills not getting paid or something like that. So this is definitely, basically this is a gold digger energy. This could be a masculine energy or feminine energy. Take it how it resonates, but this is to me, this to me sounds like somebody here who's a gold digger. Somebody here won't, or somebody here wants to siphon off of your natural abundance. They want to stop you from moving forward so that they can siphon off of it. Someone here is terrible with money. They can't balance a home or, the, or you know, this could be someone in the same household as you. You know, take a half resonates here. But someone here keeps repeating the same cycles because they mismanage money. They're greedy. They keep holding back uh, things. There's a lot going on here. Okay, what's the misdemeanor charges? Okay, we got the Eight of Cups and then the Ace of Swords is in reverse. Someone here wants to walk away because uh, wants to walk away from chaos. What's the Ace of Swords reverse? Ooh, shoot. Man, the way that fell out. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, which is like uh, someone who dropped the ball, missed opportunity, or hit an opportunity. And then we got the Ace of Wands upright with the Seven of Swords. Jeez Louise. So this can speak to an energy here that was being sneaky and deceptive about an idea they had. You walked away from you walked away from a situation where there was just too much chaos, too much. I mean, there's clouded judgment, things were unclear, there's confusion going on, you know, and um, an opportunity was missed here for somebody to take from you because you walked away. This person could be getting caught up on something else. Maybe what's this Ace of Wands? Maybe you narrowly escaped it. Who knows? What's this Ace of Wands? Yeah, hey man, which uh, Pisces energy, which could represent a trap or just someone who's being enlightened about something. What's the Ace of Wands and a Hangman and the Seven of Swords? Something they can't come back from. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Somebody betrayed the hell out of y'all. They did some shit that they cannot come back from. And you've been enlightened about it. Or you're about to be enlightened about it. You're about to be enlightened about how far somebody went to try to make you miss an opportunity. Make you be stuck and confused. And make you want to walk away from something, basically. That's basically what it is, uh, Virgo. Yeah, Virgo. Somebody here is, you know, they really, they went above and beyond to try to stop you from moving forward in your life. What is your angels or ancestors are protecting you? Okay, we got the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, what's, what is your angels' ancestors that are protecting you? Okay, the Emperor. All right, Aries energy. Uh, what's the Emperor? That could be authority figure. That could be your spirit team. Or an Aries energy. This could be a spirit guide. That's an Aries energy that's passed on here. Yeah, somebody here. Yeah, your spirit team is blocking out the devil. <laughs> Two of Swords and the Devil Reverse, Capricorn Energy. Yeah, your, your angels and ancestors are protecting you. You know, it looks like they're stepping in and taking charge of some things to block out, like, uh, toxic, uh, you know, to try to block out devilish energies from reaching you. What else? Two of Cups in Reverse. This could have something to do with a broken relationship. What's the Two of Cups re Reverse? Two of Wands Reverse. Lack of planning, lack of foresight. They're protecting you from um, a relationship where nothing was going on in it. Like you was wasting your time or something. Knight of Wands. Yeah. Knight of Wands in reverse. And then the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands talks about like defense, like send it up. This is or blocking. So someone here, yeah, th your spirit team got you covered. You might have been dealing with uh, energy here that was toxic. You know, you didn't need to be with anymore, okay? This was a disunion, a, a breakup here because there is no, no, you know, nothing coming out of it. No future. You know, there's, I mean, nothing but frustration, delays. Your spirit team is definitely blocking you from anything else that's going to stop you from moving forward in your life, Virgo. You ain't got to worry about that. All you got to do is have trust. The hermit here. More Virgo energy. This could be you. Kind of came out in reverse, which could talk about someone who may feel like they lost their way or being misled or something like that. And then we got the tire reverse. So somebody here might need to do some shadow work. Someone here might need to, you know, go within to maybe restore their confidence here with the Queen of Wands. Yeah. Okay. 
Let me get you some advice here, Virgo, okay? Mm -mm. Okay, Holy Spirit, can you please give me advice, please, for the sign of Virgo about this situation? Okay, we got create. You're being asked to connect with your creative side in whatever way feels best. This part of you needs extra attention right now. It needs to be expressed in a bigger way. Spirit is saying to like ampl amplify your creativity, okay? Express it in more bigger way. I mean, in bigger ways. You can. You certainly can. You have a lot of it inside of you. You've probably been holding back. Lighten up. You're being asked to remember that life doesn't always have to be so serious. Yes, there are hard things happening. No, it's not always easy to be here on earth, but you can always find time to laugh, be silly, and have fun. It's so important that you do so. Spirit is calling on you to lighten up, okay? Don't take things so seriously, okay? Everything's going to be okay. All right, then we have it's time. You're being asked to move forward towards the dream that you've been carrying in your heart. It's time to bring it out into the world. You're ready. It's time. So Spirit is telling you this time for you to move forward towards your dreams, okay? You've been carrying these in, carrying these in your heart for a long time. It is time for them to to materialize, to realize, you know, resolution, whatever it is that you've been struggling with is about to be resolved. Remember that resolutions don't always happen in the way we hope or want, but being able to move forward and start fresh always brings relief resolution. So there's about to be a resolution to this issue that you're going through. I'm going to go ahead and give you some hip hop Oracle to let's get a few of these. Okay, what is the takeaway advice for Virgo? One, two, three. Okay, we got Nicki Minaj leadership. Okay, let me see what Nicki says. Okay, her keywords are arch archetype, torch bearing, transparency, standards, and goals. The Nicki Minaj card is calling you to lead the way. You may be used to taking cues from someone else, but what happens when but what happens when there's no one to report to? You can't always rely on second and third opinions when choosing certain walks in life. This time it's all you and your gut instinct. Be the Barbie and take charge. Let um, experience be your compass. Some may challenge your steps forward, but guess what? You're not here to please them. March to the beat of your own super base and keep believing that you will get the job done. So spirit is calling on you to be the leader of your own life. You know, you may have been used to taking cues from others, you know, but it's it's time for you to be an independent thinker and just, you know, be a free thinker. And just, you know, step out on your own lead, you know. Then we have uh, Dej Loaf with mood. Okay, her key words are temperament, pressure, control, and hostility. If you're feeling like your mood is all over the place, then you're not wrong. While Dej Loaf vents through her songs... You may not have the luxury of resetting your day, good or bad, with music to keep you going. The best way to sort through all those emotions is to turn within for a while. Not to the point where you're reclusive, but just enough to adjust your thoughts and actions before feelings take over. It's okay to fluctuate. In fact, a shift in mood loosens attachments to negative thoughts before they become the center of your new attitude. So like Dash Love says, back up a little, you'll get a better view. Yeah, so Spirit is saying to check your mood. Okay, you may need to step back a little bit. You may need to go within for a while and just kind of, you know, repair some things, see what healing needs to be done. You know, definitely do that before you start getting all over the place with it, you know. Then we have Young M.A. with Potential. Okay, let's see what the keywords are. All right, keywords are self-actualization, professional vision, and future plans. Your plan seems crystal clear, yet you're rocking back and forth on your heels and celebrating every milestone. While it's good to pat yourself on the back when you hit a new level, just remember that too much self-congratulatory behavior can make you complacent. Be like M.A. and take this card to heart. New levels equal new devils, so while you may see the bigger picture in the distance, you must press forward with each step toward accomplishing your specific goals. Stopping for water is fine in this race, but don't get trapped in suspended animation when your destination awaits. So Spirit is saying that uh, when it comes to your future plans, you know, make sure you pat yourself on the back, but don't become complacent. You know, definitely celebrate your wins and give yourself a little break, but don't get too comfortable and just settle where you are. You know, keep rising. You feel me? All right, so Virgos. 
that completes your reading. I certainly hope that resonated for you, and I certainly hope that you enjoyed it because I certainly enjoyed reading for you. It has been my pleasure. Thank you guys so much for all the love and the continued support you've been showing me, my dog in the channel. I love you guys so very much. God bless you guys. Um, please check out my mom readings. Those are my message of motivation. I'm starting those back up again. I already have one uploaded, okay? Those are going to be readings centered around, I mean, for all signs, and it's just going to be centered around healing, okay? Like healing advice. Um, but um, anyways, let me get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching me, okay? I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. God bless you guys. Good night.